What is positivism, you ask? Positivism is a philosophical perspective most commonly associated with scientific inquiry. Most, if not all, scientific inquiry up until the second half of the 20th century and some scientific inquiry today are rooted in a positivist philosophical orientation. The ontology or understanding of reality inherent in positivism is that of realism. A positivist would assert that that which I observe outside of me, that chair, that person, that atom, exist independently of me and my interpretation. And if I use the right methods, I can observe it, experiment on it to learn more about it, and eventually fully understand it. The epistemology or understanding of knowledge inherent in positivism is objectivist and dualist. It is objectivist as it is believed the knower can be completely objective, separating their values, experiences, and perspectives from their observation of phenomenon and therefore coming to objective knowledge. It is also within the dualist philosophical tradition that differentiates between mental and physical states as two distinctly different modes of being. This is sometimes thought of as the mind-body divide and has been explored throughout the history of philosophy, seminally by Plato, who differentiated between physical bodies and the eternal forms, which is what physical forms are based on, and which the mind must grasp to understand something. While Aristotle differed from Plato's understanding of forms, and is less distinctly a dualist, he too conceived of the intellect as an immaterial state separate from physical reality. Modern dualism is generally linked to René Descartes' substance dualism, sometimes referred to as Cartesian dualism after Descartes himself, which contrasts matter and mind. Descartes understood matter as functioning mechanistically, driven by its own laws. The impact of this on positivism as the underlying philosophical rationale is clear. Positivism focuses on the use of the scientific method to establish laws contextualized in social thought and social conditions. It is linked to understandings of empirical science as an objective driver of progress, concerned with observing the natural world in order to produce the only valid, accurate knowledge. Classical positivism springing from the work of Auguste Comte in the early 19th century asserted that knowledge can only be gained from scientific investigation and observation. This set the stage for other science-centric understandings of knowledge, such as the famous logical positivism of the Vienna Circle. The Vienna Circle was a scholarly circle centered around the University of Vienna in the early decades of the 20th century. Members of the Vienna Circle applied mathematical principles to the determination of truth. The group was influenced by Ludwig Wittgenstein and drew from his early work the prerequisite of scientific verification of truth, which, in its application, tells us that metaphysics, theology, ethics, and anything else that cannot be verified through sensory observation cannot be true. Positivism promotes inquiry through the scientific method of asserting and verifying hypotheses using structured observation and verification. From these findings, which build upon pre-existing knowledge, general laws or facts can be established. The world observed by positivist researchers through such structured observation is therefore a structured, orderly world with predictable patterns of cause and effect.